Hey, I'm Victor Lucas. This is Johnny Millennium, and we are Film Fury, and we also just survived a screening of It Chapter 2, which is the sequel, of course, to Andy Muschietti's It from uh, a couple of years ago. 2017 version. We Not, loved it. Yeah, we really had a good time. This one stars the older versions of the characters that we were introduced to as kids in the original It film, uh, and it stars Bill Hader and Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise, back again, reprising the role. Jessica Chastain, James McAvoy is in here. Plus, we get lots of sequences with the kids that we fell in love with. That first movie was a lot of fun. Yes, and that's what we're going to start with here. The first movie we really enjoyed. Yep. We really enjoyed it. I want to say that I really enjoyed this movie. Yeah. I felt the first one was a lot scarier, where this one, not so much. It had a lot of CG in it. Yeah. It kind of took me out at times, but there's some good, effective bits in here. Absolutely. There's lots of little moments. There's lots of... Um, it's it's crass. This Andy yes. Muschietti is, is building a really, you know, cool name for himself in Hollywood. He's getting offered all kinds of different projects right now, mostly based on the success of that previous It film. I suspect this movie is going to do very well as well. Oh, it's going to well. do gangbusters, yeah. But it doesn't, you know, part of it is that it's way too indulgent. It sort of celebrates itself way too much. As and, a that, and that is too long to yeah. begin with? Yes. It's two hours and 40 minutes? Yeah. Please continue on. I know exactly where you're going. Yeah, well, it also feels like the first film was a bit of a surprise that it was as good as it was. Yeah. And I think that it made so much money. And then Warner Brothers threw the, the filmmakers a lot of money to make the sequel. So there's a lot of effect shots. There's a lot of, uh, you know, beautiful scenery shots, be beautiful, um, you know, camera moves and, and cool. Uh, Cinematography. Yeah, and, cool. Yeah. yeah, and it looks great. And it looks then the, great. And then the visual effects, there's too many of them. But they're cool. They're cool. Yes. There's a couple of winks to the audience. Yeah. I'm just going to say one is from an old 1982 John Carpenter film. Yeah. And I was, and they used the exact line out of that movie, and I'm like, oh my God, we're really going this direction. And they do it to a few other movies as well. Yes. And that's fun, but I didn't think it was appropriate for it. I think it should be it. Yeah. And I think it should do its own thing. I thought the movie was way too long. Yeah. I wasn't uncomfortable. I didn't, I wasn't sitting there going, I wish it would end. I enjoyed what I was watching. I thought it was fun, but oh my God, it was a little too long. I think they could have done this in two hours. You know what I mean? Yeah, I totally do. And I feel like it was a little too caustic and, and, and loud. I felt right. like people were just screaming the whole way through the well, movie. Well, that's the movie. The sound, I, the sound I, design was good for you know. It's like yeah, yeah, ah, in yeah, your face, and, and it I does fine. And the, and those moments where it freaks you out are effective for sure. But there's just too much of it, and there, I, I, I know what they were. It kind of dulls you. It does. It numbs bit. you after. Right. It numbs. And, and it feels like the characters were trying to kind of portray what the kids were like, but we didn't really get to see the nuance of the characters as adults enough. You know, right. they were just jumping back into their persona a little too quick. And then we were jump cutting to the kids a lot. So it just felt disjointed uh, a little bit. Well, and it just felt like it was just patting itself on the back over and over. Yeah, it's like, I'm this kid, yeah. I, you know, and yeah. I'm an adult and I'm this kid again. Yeah, and look at how clever we are and right. look at this connection. But I, I didn't feel like there was, uh, you know, a lot of really... You know, emotional in, bits. Yeah, emotion. I didn't yeah. really have it, much emotion at all, and, yeah. and it's and the movie kind of sets up scenes where you are, are supposed to feel emotion, and it feels like maybe the people behind the camera were feeling emotion because they got really connected to all these right. actors and these characters. But I'm like, I. I I felt more the first time for the kid. I felt I real terror and real fear, and I like to see those kids again. Right. But the the adult actors, as competent as they are, they got a great cast for this, and Bill Hader's got some oh, fantastic he stuff. He's incredible. He actually yeah. steals the show. He's he the does. best character in the entire film. Yes. I was laughing. I mean, but every time he came on, the entire audience laughed. He's James, great. James McAvoy and oh, Jessica Chastain. Yes. Yeah, they're so, they're awesome actors. Yeah. And they're kind of wasted here. I wouldn't say they're wasted. I well, think. They do the best they can with the roles they've been given. Okay. Most of the time is to act scared and yeah. you know and, and scream and run away and things like that. I thought everybody's acting performance was fantastic. I just thought way too long, yeah. way too dragged out. Not enough, not enough scares. Too much CG. And way but too a good much, film. And way too much of the same note all the way. The same through. note. And do you know yeah. what the same note is? The same note is what got me the first time 
where you get scared and then you quiet down, you turn around, boom, you're scared again. So all of a sudden when it would go quiet, I'm like, here comes the scare. And I'm like, yep. bah, yep. and it goes right in your face. And they did that at least 25 times in this movie. <laughs> I, I, totally. Yeah, and they, they, that's you're, why they dull you yes. out a little bit. And and a lot of it was with characters and, and caricatures that were not Pennywise. They were right. they were CG creations or manifestations. Some looked of, good and some did not. But there, there were so many of them that they became superfluous and easily editable. Yes. E like you could have chopped up whole scenes in this and it would have made like no difference at all because these these incongruous effect pieces just popped up out of nowhere it's like it's a zombie looking creature yeah. that I go in this way with a tongue going out Why? that way you know just yeah. to, just to show that they got the money to make it and then the ending it felt like it was a Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings movie it just got, like we have this ending and then we have this ending and we have this ending oh and yeah we, yeah it's like okay just well, finish the, the movie okay let's say if, coming from the 90s I want to say this uh, yes that the night, the ending of the '90s movie was so disappointing to me when I was a kid. Right. Okay. I was so bitter and angry <laughs> that this one fulfilled me, and I think for a lot of people watching this movie, they're going to get a great. They're going to feel very fulfilled. I think it's the best they could do with this kind of ending. I I felt satisfied. You didn't feel satisfied? I felt like it was just it went on for too long. And, I, that's and, the problem with the movie in general. Yeah, in general. Yeah, and I, I guess I just didn't really care about oh. who these the characters became as adults right and that's a major problem because right. i really did care and i really was you know there was a glow about the first film and they recapture that when they put the child actors back in and it's a celebratory uh, element because they know they had they lightning played in a, that one a little too much as well right and it, it, so it all feels a little too artificial you right. know and right. so when horrible things happen to these characters, it has no effect. And that's much, really unfortunate. Not as much effect as the first one. Yes. And I will say this, I like this movie, but yeah. just not as much as the first one. Yes. A little bit more dragged out. Yeah. I did feel some emotional uh, bits with the characters. I did feel it, yeah. but it was too stretched out. For sure. I, I mean, uh, the one thing that I definitely will say about this is that it's once again beautifully crafted. Of like, course. Like the filmmaking is really, really solid. It is, some of yeah. the CG is a little crap. Okay, yeah. like the John Carpenter bit, I was just like, okay, it's a CG head. In the original move, John Carpenter movie, I was like, oh my god, that's cool. This one was like, ah, yeah, it's just a bit of CG But it CG wasn't CG on. in the John Carpenter thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, it was real in, yeah. the, in that film. Yeah. And so a movie from 1982, yeah. I'm not giving anything away, but I am. I uh, just have to look that up. It was, it was more effective than I thought it was in this and I don't know why they had to call. I don't know why am I even going on about that. That bit really bugged me a lot. It was really, really silly. Okay, we're gonna get to this. I think it was an homage. It was, yes, it was an homage that doesn't need to happen. Yeah. My God, what are you gonna give this movie? Sounds like you really disliked it. I, I wasn't in, man. Like I was. It wasn't I, it for you. It wasn't it. Yeah. And I honestly, I'm disappointed because the first movie set up something that, mm. and the, these actors, I like them a lot, and I right. really wanted to just be completely transported. I wasn't. I'm gonna give it chapter two a six point five out of Whoa, ten. Whoa, that's way it? too. No, no, no. I enjoyed this movie. An eight out of ten for eight? sure. Yes, it Whoa, was good. Okay. Not as good as the first one. All right. I think we gave the first one an eight point five. Yeah, I like the first one a lot more.